whole theme behind the Tori and Meg situation where it, it, it would just like protect black women. And my thing is like, I feel like black women wanted men to just automatically jump to women's defense in any situation, period. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I get it, but how I'm supposed to take a side when I don't even know the whole story? So how I'm supposed to pick a side? That, and that's me coming from a playing devil's advocate type shit, like, mm -hmm. like wanting to look at both sides before I, before I pass judgment on somebody. People wanted Tory to come out and, and, and go on live and do all this. Mm -hmm. And why would he do that And when it's an open case? And why do we owe y'all any explanation on any of that? Especially if it's an open case. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why I'm going to come out and, and tell y'all to tell y'all the story and that's just going to fuck me up in the end. How you feel about that? Like the women want, wanting people to just to jump, jump to make defense off the rip without even knowing the story. If I had to give an opinion, because honestly, I really don't give a fuck. Right, I, I don't but, either, um, but it's just something to talk about. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, just yeah, the, yeah. Whole, the whole concept behind protecting black women when black men are just fucking thrown under the bus all the fucking time, whether, whether it come to being fathers, whether it come to, you know, the, the, the type of lifestyle we choose, whether it be the type of jobs we choose, we always under a microscope, bro. Yeah, that's so, for sure. In my opinion... Of course, he was dead ass wrong. Yeah. Like we just established, for sure, for sure. It, come on, shooting a person is a conscious decision or a choice or however you want to put it. You got to think about that shit. You're not just gonna shoot nobody out of instinct. That's nobody's first instinct. Yeah, just, just shoot go grab it. Not, not. You know what I'm saying? And then even if it did happen like that and he did shoot her, like she was shot in both her feet. You know what I'm saying? So more than likely, I don't know. I wasn't there. She was shot in both her feet. Both her feet got hit. From what I understand, Stop lying. I, ain't I don't know about that. You, you check it, it, look it up. She got hit in both her feet, or grazed, or both of her feet got hit. But either way it go, if more than one round was fired, okay, I can see if you just at the at your down bad, you defenseless, boom, shot fire, back the fuck up. I can see that. You okay. know what I'm saying? But for both of her feet to be hit, or one of her feet to be hit, or whatever the fucking case may be, you hit somebody with yeah. a gun. You know what I'm saying, man or woman? I just, as a human, especially a woman. Though, like niggas ain't gonna be tripping over Tory and shot a uh, Drake out. Well, uh, maybe they might. You know what I'm saying? Cause it, it don't cause for all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just extra. Nigga could've, like I say, he could've got out the jail. Nigga got money. Nigga could've paid the whole right down the spot to handle the situation man. if it was that. Hey, you man, know what I'm saying? Meg, that's a big ass bitch. Bro. Hey man. God damn. Yeah. It's, she ain't the only big bitch. Hey, and, and money like talk. You know what I'm saying? I give y'all a group of little bitches 800 a piece. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? Going to handle that so big, it, one big Megatron looking ass. So it's, it was ways around that shit. So that's why I really don't really, you know what I'm saying? They right shit. Yeah. It, it shouldn't have never got to that. Even even if you around a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Before you shoot a person, you got to get mad or feel insulted or feel, insulted or feel or in danger. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's plenty of time to remove yourself from the situation. So the fact that you even stayed there and you took out a gun, and if you did it right off rip, that's weird as fuck that you want to shoot somebody in the foot, because that really don't stop them from fucking <laughs> hey, you Adam over. Murphy did it. You know what I mean? <laughs> that don't stop them from fucking you over. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. But like I say, like you said, shit, we don't know the details, so really, in situations like that, we just really should shut the fuck up. I just hate how, like, when something happened, like, something happened at, like that to a black man, it got to be, it got to take a white man to do it. For us to be all in in, in arms about it, yeah. I, I, I just don't feel like as black men we respect it cause at all, at all. And we are out of fear, but are we really respected as a as a gender? You feel like you're respected when you walk into certain places, even by your own kind? No, I feel like I'm more judged by my own kind. So you feel like you're more judged by your own kind than like other other people? Yeah. Cause, um, Why is it like that? In a sense, I can agree with that. Cause I can I can yeah. agree that when you go around a bunch of white people, you don't. You don't give they gonna judge you. Yeah. But they gonna wait to hear what come out your mouth before they before. judge you. Yeah. Uh -huh. You get around a group of niggas, they gonna look at what you got on and don't, and that determines if they even want to hear what come out your mouth. If I sure. walk up to somebody in the outfit I got on now, they might listen. You know what I'm saying? But if I walk up to that same person looking dirty as fuck, it ain't nothing I'm be able to tell them, even if I know what the fuck I'm talking about, just cause yeah. how I look. You know what I'm saying? They ain't really gonna want to take the time. Or if they do listen, it ain't really gonna be to 
the level that they need to listen because they ain't gonna take a nigga serious. Shit be crazy. So we not respected. And I'm not I'ma say no, we not respected, but I'm not gonna blame it on everybody else. You know what I'm saying? You blame it on us? Yeah. It's our own fault why we not respected? Yeah. Because goddamn Yeah, they stereotypes. Yeah, they you know what I'm saying, or whatever the case may be. But I guarantee you it's still niggas who wear interview clothes to interviews, but they sag their dress pants. Niggas do that? You know what I'm saying? Niggas do that. I sag sometimes. Did you know what I'm saying? Do y'all sag y'all y'all dress pants? What kind of shit is that? You ain't seen it. They go to Matty V and sag. Those are uniform pants, dress pants. That's it's the difference between khaki pants and dress pants. If you just wearing straight khakis, khakis ain't no dress pants, nigga. You can rock khakis See? with anything. But and that that proves the point too. We making excuses for sagging. It's just oh, because, I, you know, oh, it ain't no excuse for sagging. But, but not I, saying us, us, but yeah. People are saying the same thing. Oh, I just got on regular pants. It, you know. Nah, I'm it like, ain't no excuse for sagging. Shit. I don't. I don't really agree with. Really, I don't give. It a don't fuck. matter. I don't give a if fuck. That's how you want to present yeah. yourself. That's how you want to present yourself. Yeah, you I just know, know I ain't about to be walking down with my pants out because that. First of all, that shit is uncomfortable, it, nigga. It is. I, yeah. Pulling up your pants every five <laughs> steps. I hate it. That shit you know is uncomfortable, bro. A lot bro. of times, niggas see me sagging because either one, my belt too small. I meant too big, so it can't Damn, tighten up. Skinny your pants. <laughs> Uh, I can't find my belt or some shit. Yeah, but some shit. At like the same time, a lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying, live up to the stereotypes that's already out here. So it's just like, well, they say we say it. If they're gonna accuse us of being ignorant, we might as well yeah, be ignorant. Be. And they saying we accusing them of being ignorant. And they showing us they ignorant. So it's like, I remember talking to you at the beginning of of this. Um, I remember talking to you at the beginning of this pandemic, and I the main thing I said was like. If this shit don't change, like all this rioting, all this looting, all this whatever we doing, protesting, what's the result gonna be? Was it you I said that to? Um, it might have been. It might have been my. It might, I think it was a little Mike. No. Uh, but it was regardless. It was the same. It was the same thing. Like what's the outcome of all this gonna be? Once you know, once once the dust settle, once George, let's five, six, seven months past George Floyd death, what was gonna be the result? And what has been the result? Yeah. Ain't nothing changed. It ain't gonna change because niggas ain't got the right idea. Like in my mind, niggas ain't got the right idea. Bro. It's not gonna change. And even if we do have the right ideas, are we gonna be able to work together to bring these ideas into fruition? Right, shit, and that's what I mean by the right idea. Cause I've stated it before, and I can I strongly stand on it. What's that? Five crackers come right now. Me and Jared sitting in the car. Four of them crackers pull Jared out the car and start beating the shit out of him. Boy, a nigga gonna uh, every one of them gotta get it. Gonna record, but I'm gonna fight with oh, my dog. Oh, who the gonna fuck? record? You know, that's what I'm saying. That's how today is. That's how today is. When niggas, when shit go down with George Floyd and all that, everybody rest in peace. People got all these videos, but nobody jumped in to try to stop it. Nobody felt the need to sacrifice themselves to try to help the person who was going through this bullshit yeah. that they ain't need to go through. Until we feel selfless enough to to make that sacrifice. To know, man, I'm finna get my ass beat just like this nigga, but this nigga ain't finna get his ass beat by itself. By itself. You know what I'm saying? We, it ain't never gonna work. It's never gonna work. So, tell me this. It's never gonna work. If if they never if they never have, say everybody jump in, boom. Everybody jump in, everybody get shot. Everybody dead. What's, who gonna live, who gonna live to be able to tell that story of what happened to George Floyd? Because they gonna come, like, like that shit with Breonna Taylor. They gon' like if if Breonna Taylor boyfriend wouldn't have made it to 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 tell that story if he would have got shot if he would have got killed when they shot up them 22, 23 rounds, bro, bro, this it would have been a whole different story of what we talking about. Right. This story of a drug a drug bust and they probably they would have probably pinned that shit on them and made it they fault, which really it was they fuck up and they still like even if even still to the, they still trying to make it seem like oh it was his fault for not doing as he was you know but you know what I'm saying. It was all fuck up. Yeah. So it, if they jump in and everybody die, who gonna live? Who gonna live to tell the story? Or who gonna live to be a witness? Generations, bro. You can't kill everything. Like, like, say for instance, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, I'm gonna use me and you because that's just what it is. Crackers come, boom. Same scenario. They pull you out of the car, beat your ass, boom. I jump in. They beat both our ass. 
Now, even if don't nobody help us, even if we die, there been somebody watching out the window who that might have been like, Ooh. all right, well, that's what we got to do. That's what we going to do. They come back. They not even going to come <coughs> back the same. The crackers ain't even coming back the same. Because now in their mind, oh, we got people over here who who who's a village. We got to worry about this whole village yeah. now. We can't you, just worry right, about one though. person. You're right. You know, so they whole, they whole approach got to be different now. And that's when you got the, okay, well, we not, we don't want any problems. We just trying to communicate with you now because they see it ain't one on 10 yeah. or 10 yeah, on they one. They're going to have to bring the whole 10. police you force in to deal with this neighborhood. Type shit. I can see that. that. That is a solution. But are we ever going to... Bro, we can't stand together and do no shit like that if I'm beefing with a nigga from around the corner just because it's a different street and number. that's why I say they, they laughing. That's why I say they don't respect us because of us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We know if we can let these two niggas beef long enough, we can take down both of these streets. Somebody going to die. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a whole war between these two niggas. And then we could clean shit. up the mess type shit. Bro. And that's less for work for us to do. One, one more nigga off the streets. Oh, like I always say, disclaimer, I'm not the toughest motherfucker. I'm me, far from the toughest either. motherfucker. I, I don't like to fight. You I know what I'm like saying? I don't like confrontation, none of that. But at the same time, a nigga not finna terrorize my dog. It's not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, it need to be everything that happened on the grander scale happened on the smaller scale. Right. If I ain't gonna let the nigga from around, my, around the corner terrorize my dog, why would I let a cracker from Yuli come and terrorize my dog? Oh, fuck that. Okay. By cracker, doesn't mean. Just because I say cracker, don't mean I'm talking about a white, white person. person it's it's I mean, talking about a black person. Okay. It doesn't mean a police. It doesn't mean a white person. It mean a person who got that cracker mentality. Oh, so I was just about to get into that. You know what I'm saying? That's what that is. I ain't no diss. I love white. Some white people. Some white people cool. Some white people cool. You know what I'm saying? But when oh, the, shit. Look at it. When the motherfucker got that cracker mentality, they'll crack them. Yeah. You can say somebody's acting white. You, you've heard you've heard that before, mm -hmm. right? So that's the same thing as the cracker mentality. That's not the same thing? Mm-mm. Right. Different. Different. The crack, uh, acting white comes along with knowing your, your, your English and your correct verb, subject, verb agreements and all that shit. When, when you... Really? When you get into that and you know that and you know you're this, then, and all that shit, and you know how to talk, motherfucker gonna say you're talking white. You're acting white. You know what I'm saying? But is it like really that. talking white or is it talking correctly? Exactly, and that's what I'm saying. And okay. That's, and, that's, and that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you are not <coughs> labeled it as talking white, but really you're doing what you've been taught. But how the fuck you supposed to speak English? Yeah. A Ooh. cracker is a motherfucker who still think it's 19, uh, 1852 and I'm working for you for nothing and you finna tell me everything and you just got a grand fist over the world and the world revolves around you. That's, That's cracker mentality. That's you know what I'm saying? Right. You don't have to be white to have a cracker mentality. You don't have to be white. Cause, right. Cause it's definitely some black people that you know hold black people back. So Definitely. That's sure. what, when I say, that's why I use the word cracker loosely because we was talking about speaking correct English and shit like that, right? So, when we talk about, like, I, I learned some shit that pretty much, when we were enslaved, we even still, we used different, like, we talked different so that the master wouldn't understand what we were saying, right? Mm -hmm. So, when, when white people look at black people and how we talk, we say, finna, ain't a, gonna, Fuck you. Yeah. Nah, but for real though, we, we got our own little dialect type shit. We, we got our own... The correct term for that would be your colloquial language. There we go. Slang, as but, some people would call it. But why is it slang? Why is it, well, isn't it just a language? Because don't they have, don't they have an urban dictionary? Because, I mean, as far as that, it, I, in my opinion, it would be too broad. Because like, this section of IDs don't talk the same as that section of IDs. But niggas in ge or black people in general pretty much like we have different jargon, but we talk pretty much the same across like like the South. Why isn't that why is it like incorrect? Why isn't it just our language? Haitians speak Creole. Yeah. Or whatever. And Jamaicans speak Patois. That ain't our native tongue. I mean, that like, is their native tongue. No, I'm talking about the ain't and the finna, and that's that's because we weren't taught. We we had to learn that shit on ourselves. Ourselves. If you uh, motherfucking, for example, go put a bike together without instructions, you might have some fuck ups. It still might work. 
nigga might still understand how to use it, but it might not. That's you a know, good analogy. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? So yeah, that's a good analogy, Cole. It's just like that's that's what we we took what we learned could learn or took what we knew <coughs> and we ran with it. You know? Yeah, I just want to talk about yeah. Get my little, you know, my bl black stuff like yeah. going on. You know, we talk talk a little about some other than than females. Yeah, um, for sure. Cause we, are, you know, it's easy to talk about females. I can talk about females all day. Right. They so, can do the same. Yeah, yeah. They can do the same. Just cause it's, you know, it's er, people that had experiences. Just cause it's PPEs and badges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always gonna be different. Mm -hmm. Big pussies. Mm -hmm. Balls and what they got? Stupid. But um, we nah, talking about what, what they, they got? got. <laughs> oh, <laughs> lady, oh, no. lady balls. Nice. Looking at you been with this girl for for four years, and she come home one day and beat the fuck up. Oh, I thought you were gonna say she beat the fuck out of you. Nah, hell no. <laughs> she, <laughs> dude. <laughs> she come home, beat the fuck up. And who other who else did it other than her side? Name? <laughs> so this, this, with that call, and they asked, "What would you do if, if your old lady?" Side nigga beat her the fuck up, right? Like beat up. What the fuck were you even doing to get your ass beat by your side nigga? Okay, so just tell me if I'm wrong, cuz the whole point of a side nigga is for pleasure, right? You ain't gotta deal with no emotions, you ain't gotta deal with none of this. You in it, you fucking it might be some emotions in it a little bit. Shit, but at bro. the same time, it's like, you know. You know what it is. Now, the only situation where I could think of was that the nigga was like, fuck it. Like, I want you. And like, fuck him. I want you. And he got mad and he beat the ass, right? Mm -hmm. That's the only, that's the only. Other than that, all the side niggas I know, oh, nigga, we happy being side niggas. So what in the fuck did you do to him to get your ass beat? Second of all, for the nigga to, like, think it was okay to, to send my... My girl home to me beat the fuck up. That's, like that's first of all. Like all like, like like I ain't like I'm a pussy. Mm. You basically you basically calling me a bitch. Like mm. like spitting on me. Me Send and her. her. Yeah. Calling both her bitches. Send it, man. Fuck her right now. She out there <laughs> fucking. Like fuck her. She don't even matter that, right that, now. That's number two. We'll yeah. get, that's my number okay. one is. Yeah. I, what I'm saying. Me and dog. Yeah. What 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 kind of nigga you think I am? For you to be able to send my girl back home, beat the fuck up. I don't know how else to say it. I'm not the toughest nigga. I ain't the roughest nigga. I'm coming. A lot of niggas. Me ain't. and her coming. <laughs> so you know who I'm talking about. Fuck her. No, she gotta come because she got she got she us. She gotta in, get that back. She got us in it. No, fuck, fuck her. But she got us in this, so she has to be here. Okay. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Okay, okay. Fuck her. But she gotta be here because she the only reason me and dog. Well, yeah, talk. fight in, you know in, in the first place. You you the only reason why I know this nigga in the first place, bitch. Let's go. Okay, I got you. I and got since you. Since you wanna play both of these roles, one of us finna get our ass whooped. Either me or dog. And you finna sit here and watch. Watch it, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you can really pick your side then. You a side nigga. I understand bitches be playing. You know bitches playing because you a side nigga. Keep your hands up. That's what the, hey, that's and that was my whole thing, cuz look. Side niggas, home. side niggas, look. It's, call me, cuz. Call the main nigga. Yeah, if I send my girl to you, well, I'm not sending. If, she, if my you. girl comes to you, bro, the only thing that should be beat up is the pussy. I understand maybe it's something in you that she like, or maybe it's something I ain't doing that you doing that she like. You know what I'm saying? It ain't me all the time. Maybe it's her. Maybe she, you know, I don't know. If she coming to you and you know she got a nigga, just send her back home. The only thing that should be beat up is the pussy. Don't touch the, the face. The face is the merch, okay? Hey, shit, I can't hide the fact that you fucking me. I can't hide the fact that another nigga beat up be my bitch. Not hey, what happened to your girl, man? Yeah, she was cheating on me and the nigga beat her ass. Come on, man, that sounds stupid on my ends every, every, every way. Or they think you beat her ass. Type shit. That's really what they're going to think. That's really, that's the that's the first, no, no matter who What no. happened to your girl? Yeah, she was cheating on me. Nigga beat her ass. Oh, oh nigga beat her ass. Nigga beat her ass, huh? Oh, <laughs> you, you, fuck you. I don't even care right now if you got your ass beat. I'm just mad that he sent her home Talk like this shit. to me. Like, I wasn't going to do nothing. So, fuck you. Um, my number one is me and dogs. I like to say, one, it's a female. Cause, and, and it's a female, bro. She tripping like that. This your side, bitch. This not your main bitch. Yeah. I don't know, y'all. Kick and, it out. And, and nine times out of ten, 
you gonna be stronger than her. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's like, unless you like real big girls, then you you ain't got no choice. But you, if she take you down and lay on you, it's over. If y'all playing a dirty game like that, let her stay over that bitch. Call you a side bitch over there. Why she does? Send her home. Hurt her feelings. Do whatever you got to do, cause she ain't had no bitch since out there. But you hitting a female, that's stupid. My bitch, that's even more stupid. So you think you should call another bitch over to beat her ass? Bro, I, just... No, I don't give a fuck. What like, y'all shouldn't be fighting. Y'all got this agreement where y'all fucking behind my back. I should be the only one mad in this equation. Y'all should have nothing. That's to be what mad I'm about. saying. The whole point of a side nigga is for pleasure. There's no, there's no point of fighting. Like, what is the point of fighting if so you're a side nigga? You that, getting everything yeah, you want. That's why I'm on his ass. Cause I'm on me, me and her. That's number two now. She ain't getting off scot free at all. It, it probably ain't no more me, me and her. Depending on how deep the shit is, I ain't gonna count. Sometimes shit be real. I ain't gonna even hey, sit here and look. lie. You know what I'm saying? But oh. like I say number two, me and her, I honestly would try to get to the bottom of it. If she was lying about it or wouldn't tell me what the fuck was what after that whole ordeal, definitely over with. But I don't know. Like I said, depending on how how well four years is some history in four years. That's 365 days a couple of times. I can't say I just up and leave her because I probably done did some fuck shit. But yeah. so, don't hit my bitch. That that yeah <laughs> period. You ever called the nigga phone like that was fucking with? Somebody that you was fucking with? No, I texted him. You texted him? Yeah. So, okay. So, I've always wanted to ask somebody. I always say they're never, like, women are never going to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. Period. So, it's going to be a natural. And you know that. Like, mm -hmm. as men, we know that. Men, women going to take certain shit to the grave. They're going to lie and lie and lie. And mm -hmm. if you ain't got no evidence, if you ain't got no proof, you can't do shit. Yeah. So, the natural instinct is going to be you want to communicate with the other person, right? Yeah, I did it on some, um, like I say, I'm not tough, but I felt size on both ends because her and the nigga was having a conversation uh, through her text messages and shit. Um, long story short, he called me a bitch, and her, her response to that was, he just young. So she ain't take up for a nigga or nothing. She, he felt like I was a bitch. Apparently, she felt like I was a bitch. So I texted me <coughs> and told him, come show me how much of a bitch I was. You know what I'm saying? But other than that. Did he pull up? Fuck no nigga ain't pull up, man. <laughs> the fuck? But, yeah, I was still there, of course. You know, this across the way. Of course, I was still there, but nigga ain't gonna pull up. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But She basically agreed with the uh, nigga. Like, know? ain't even take up for you. He just young. What? Yeah, he just a young bitch. That's basically what you just said. He just young when the nigga called him a bitch. And you were supposed to be fucking with him. My interpretation of that was he like okay yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? He yeah, yeah he a bitch, but he's he just young. young. That's he why don't he know like you know that. what I'm yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. That was the only reason I text nigga. And so I really he, ain't had no business in texting nigga, but you felt he, bad after it, right? No, no, not really, cause nigga ain't had no business calling me a bitch. What we, what me and her got going on? Y'all doing so much pillow talking. So don't bring me you into this shit. You letting your emotions speak farther than what they should be. If you gonna pillow talk with her, pillow talk about her to the, you know what I'm saying? No. Sell out to her. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't be no bitches. I shouldn't even be in the equation. You know what I'm saying? So. You you wanted to be Mr. Tough Guy, and this was after I done seen y'all and have messages before he done pulled up on her before, so y'all already fucking around. You know, you know what I'm saying? saying? So I'm the bitch. So she had pulled up and showed me how much of a bitch I was. It wasn't gonna be fighting over her if y'all bumped. No, it was gonna be fighting over this. That thing. bitch word. But I, you gonna use choose who to use that word with carefully because I don't know you. I ain't never met you a day in my life. So even if, know, bitch, even you know if I that? know you, I ain't. If, if I know you, I still ain't playing that. But uh, it's a new thing going around, I guess. Bitch, you stupid and shit like that. You know, okay. Nah, you know, it's context, right, code. Yeah, I get context. Watch the context or whatever. But still, I don't know you. You ain't got no business talking crazy. Even if it was my homeboy using it, it in that term. In, in a, yeah, the way he was using that nah, bit, it's an, it's an issue. Whoever using that, that term is an issue, but. I ain't never called nobody, cause I ain't, and I ain't, everybody get fucked over. Yeah, I don't you know. talk on the phone, so I ain't finna call nobody. So yeah, yeah, for sure. Everybody get fucked over though. Eventually, I don't give a fuck who you is, how good you look, how how big your dick is, how big your ass is, but I don't give a fuck who you is. Cause boy. Always, ain't nobody um, but, exempt from exempt that from shit. That shit, that shit can happen to anybody. Yeah, but I have like 
I done, I done went through a bitch phone before. Time shit, I, do that. I do that if you go through mine or you give me reason to feel like Yo, I need to go through your shit. I'm going through your shit. Yes, sir. And that was, that was, that was it. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, like, after I did it, I, I felt so played after, after I did it. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I did it, but I, I wish I would have never did it. Look, I felt so played after that shit. And they, they say, okay, I, I heard something the other day. It was like, when you go through a person's phone with bad intentions, you're going to find something. Even if it's you making something up. So you see her talking to somebody, but it ain't even really that, like, nothing like that. You still going to be like, you talking to that nigga? And they probably ain't even nothing like that. They probably ain't even discussing it. Me, it be, it be the principle, because it's like, I done actually had this happen. Like, for real, for real. You, um, you talking to a nigga, you say, oh, this nigga ain't nobody, this, that, and the third. Right. But you ain't never bring the nigga up. You ain't never, you volunteer yeah, I, any I, other information. I ain't never heard you talk about it. You know it. what I'm saying? You I volunteer you. any other information, but when it comes to what y'all talking about, I never heard none of that shit. Yeah. You ain't never talked to me about the problems you talking to this nigga about, none of that shit. So, like, it's not so much a assuming, which, which you are, of course, because a nigga don't know the whole story. Yeah, definitely. But it's just like, in my, my mindset is, if you can talk to me about goddamn some embarrassing moments you talking me about when your lady come on or all this other shit that you ain't got no business talking to me about you should be able to talk to me about anything oh, yeah, you know friends. what i'm saying yeah. even if they yeah. just friends let a nigga know so if the situation do come up they pop up one day and you ain't here i be like oh you what's the name you know what i'm saying not feeling sad ain't gonna pop like if a motherfucker got friends y'all being hanging you know what i'm saying i'm not, i'm nobody to say oh you can't hang with him no more because I'm your boyfriend. So, boom, if he been popping up. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. But just don't have a nigga pop up on me, and I don't know he coming. I don't know who the nigga is. And he talking about, oh, that's my homegirl. Nah, I'll play, I'll play. I, bro, I but, no, nah, nine times out of ten, the shit I done found that whole phone, though, it be that. It you be know? that. <laughs> it be that. It be that. You know what I mean? Yeah, they, so, they try to play it like that. Yeah. But you read read you know, either up a little bit more yeah. uh, or wait a little bit longer and double back, it be that for sure, yeah. for sure. The thing is, when you going through a phone, this is this is knowledge to all the niggas, bro. If you if you go through the phone and you find the shit, bro, do not blow up, okay? Just wait. Get your thoughts together. Get your thoughts together. Keep doing your investigations. I'm mean with it, cuz. I'm telling you. I know niggas be like, I ain't going through no hope, man. I'm mean with it, cuz. I'm <laughs> I fuck around and screenshot a whole uh what I see and send it to my phone or take a picture of my phone and leave that shit just like that. Oh, yeah, we got shit. dates and times and all, oh, baby. Come Damn. on. Damn. Well, I man, I done got mean with it. But the nigga shouldn't have to do that. I still got screenshots right now on my Google Drive, bitch. Damn, on, on the Google Drive, the drive I'm not the nigga that's gonna wait and wait, nigga. I'm like, put the phone down. Ray's building up, foot tapping, and now I'm That's like, funny. wake up. You got me fucked up. <laughs> I mean, I'll be the nigga, you, don't, you wake up, and, and I'm gone. I'm out of there. Yeah. Like, all my shit gone. I'm, I might not even say nothing, because I'm kind of past that, but, yeah. bro, look. I'm, I, I, I can't I can't do no investigating. I can't, my bro, my anger don't let me, bro. The way I'm set up, I be feeling played, bro. To my future wife, if you out there listening, if I wake you up or come talking to you with a pole already lit and I'm shaking, just tell me the truth. Do you believe in like an open phone policy? Like it should be, yeah. Yeah, honestly. You I, so you believe in the uh, significant others having passwords and all that shit? Both too? ways, shit. And yeah, if you won't trust, you won't get it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm the type nigga, if you I feel the reason not to trust you. All my shit getting locked up ASAP. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't got nothing to hide. Because at the end of the day, bro, it shouldn't even be that. I shouldn't even have to worry about you going through my phone because you should be comfortable enough to ask me what you want to know right. without me lying or without you thinking that I'm finna lie to you. That's so, true. you know what I'm saying? Ain't no sense in no locked phones if we both gonna keep it G. You, we locking phones and shit. That, in, my, in my mind, it's something that ain't you don't want somebody to find. If you get your phone stolen, you want the passcode to the phone. Like, nah, I don't want it. You could give it to me. I'm not going to ask you for it. But at the same time. That's what you're saying? No, 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 no. Listen to me. I'm not going to ask you for the password. But at the same time, not not on no 
investigation shit. If I need to use a calculator or if I need to use your phone real quick on something, my phone ain't with me, I should be able to use your phone without you standing over my shoulder type shit. That's true. That's what I'm saying. Not not like, oh, I need no nothing on the, your phone so I can go through it whenever the fuck I want to. No, nah, if I need to use your phone to find my phone, anything, I should be able to pick up your phone and not have to wait on you to put the passcode in or whatever. So you Just want the so passcode? Shit, want it? Leave the passcode off that bitch? I don't give a fuck. But at the same time, if you ain't got nothing to hide, then what you even got a passcode for? Like I, I get what you're saying. Phone security. Still, still phones and shit. But man, they got this shit. They got technology so set up nowadays, nigga. They got this Android right here. When I go to 111, there is no lock code on this bitch. I'm home. You can set up your phone like that in secure places you don't need to put in your uh, password. The time I, that shit did happen to me, bro, I don't even care. Like, like if I went through your phone, I was just like, let me go through your phone. Okay, fuck it. Like, you done already hurt my feelings. Now, nah, I don't give a fuck no more. Go through that shit, go you know what I'm saying? I done seen what I done seen, yeah, so go through so that shit. Boom, mostly everybody who I've dealt with in a relationship know my password yeah. or knew my password. Yeah, that's, that shit probably ain't even hard to figure out, honestly. At never, because... <laughs> I'm simple as fuck, so most of the time it's the same shit. Yeah. I'm gonna be sweating on this shit for real, for real. I fuck with y'all, fuck with you. If it grow to that, it grow to that. Hmm. So what you be focused on? Shit, me. Really? If we if we kicking and vibing, yeah, I want to get to know you and shit, but really, I be worried about me, man. I don't really even approach females and shit like that. Cause what's I, one? What, what? Okay, so if you worry about what's one thing? What's one thing that you do every? every day every week to make yourself better it's something i probably should focus more on but i say something that i do week from week to better myself would probably be remembering last week what do you mean remember last like week? a lot of people say the past is the past let it go and shit like that but the past is where you learn from so if i know what mistakes i did last week i know not to make them this week you know what I'm saying? Instead of just forgetting about last week, let last week be what last week, week be. I sort of kind of, I I know I try to, which I should try harder, but I try to remember last week, remember my fuck ups, remember what the the altercations and situations I've been in, right. think about how I got in them bitches, so I won't do it again this week. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that shit don't work for. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know anything that I do. So, I get, my biggest thing is I lack consistency, bro, in everything I do. I'm good with the Instagram and Facebook comedy and stuff. I be like, you know, I can run the views up a little bit. Yeah. I get fans and then I just chill out because whatever, I'm on to something new. This is the way my brain works. <clears throat> I'm real good with the camera and stuff, but... I don't go on every day and work on Photoshop. Shit like that, that come with being absolutely brilliant and, mm -hmm. and great at what you do. You know, consistency is the key to success, mm -hmm. legit. And that's that's been like with everything you do. If you ain't consistently on your grind or consistently being great at what you're doing, if you just great one day and you okay the next day, great two weeks from now or for a two week span and then just average at what you do you know what i'm saying for the next week you know what i'm saying it's just so it's on and off it's inconsistent you ain't you know you can never be great so consistency is like the key to everything and that's what i gotta work on as a, as a person for real and as a person trying to i guess do better i mean i get it and honestly like i ain't just a little friendly debate it sounds good on black and white, but I don't believe that. What you mean? Cause like, I mean, just in the world we living in, yeah. honestly, it's impossible to work on one thing every day, all day. Not every day, all day, but, but at least you got put some to. time in it. You yeah. got, I mean, I, I dig it. You got to put time in it. But if you want to be really great at something, that's the only thing you can really focus on. Honestly. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> the world we live in is not like that. You know what I'm saying? Not saying the nigga can't be great. Not saying the nigga can't do it. You know what I'm saying? But it's just a little more challenging in my eyes to say, okay, boom, I want to be the best writer out. You know what I'm saying? So every day, all day, all I can do is write. But then I have no room to live. Like, realistically, and I'm not, I'm not saying 
24 hours straight writing. But if I take 12 hours out of the day and apply it to writing and I sleep eight hours, that leave me with, what, four hours left? To what? do everything else in the world I gotta do. But that's the thing about being consistent though. Like when you're consistent, it don't matter how much you're doing. If you allocate even one hour, and, and I, I get it, like, Niggas got jobs, bro. Shit, you you, know you, you working you working eight to twelve hours a day. Sometimes people work more than twenty four hour shifts. Shit, eight to twenty four hour shifts. Tuesdays and Thursdays they got this class or this appointment or they got to go pick up their jits on Wednesdays because somebody else can't do it. Shit, be a it's, lot of it's shit. life. That's but, what I'm saying. But that's what I'm. But but still though, like with life, I always say like that that shit come with like sacrifices and shit. Like, if you really, really, really want to be great, you going to allocate some time. It don't matter what the fuck you got going. It don't matter if it's just three times a week. Niggas ain't got to go to the gym five days, seven days a week to be, you know what I'm saying? You got to allocate some time to let your muscles rest. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to... Well, shit, we only went to school, what, Monday through Friday. You get them two days, the weekend, to kind of relax, and get your brain to rest, and you back right back in it, right? Same thing with work. Niggas don't work seven days a week, shit, so it's the same thing. Do. Well, some, some people, people do, do, yeah, some people do. But I'm saying, though, my thing is, my whole thing to say is, like, it's a process. Like, that's the thing about being consistent. Once you keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it, you build a fan. Like, I saw something the other day that said, you gain a fan a day. That's 365 fans in a year. True. Over time, you know what I'm saying? I do. I do. So it's all about being consistent, even if it's just like me putting out a TikTok here and there. But I just, I'm just so inconsistent, and I'll be having so much other shit going on where I think I have other shit going on, but really, I'll be having time in my day to do shit. I just be fucking off playing the game. So it's like, if you want to be great, you just got to be consistent. And that's my thing with myself. I just ain't as consistent as I want to be. So I think, I, I got to work on that shit. For real. I keep saying that shit, but like, I fall back into old habits and old habits die harder than a motherfucker. Uh, it's shit. so hard. It's so hard to break bad habits, bro. And I think the best thing that happened to me was like, like I, I, I didn't have PlayStation Network and I didn't want to buy it. And I don't want to play the game without the play, like PlayStation Network. It don't it ain't no point of just playing against a computer player. So I went not playing the game. Yeah. I pretty much um worked on what I need to work on. I guess life. I do too much bouncing around. I don't know, bro. Everything. That's situational though, bro. Yeah, Everybody I, ain't got the luxury of stability at a certain. But over time, you 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 like it's got to be some yeah, stability. Yeah, okay. But everybody ain't got that luxury like of you know quicker than of in your terms. Like whatever life means in your terms. How can you be more consistent? I got to stop letting shit get to me. Right. I let, cause, cause when I let shit get to me, the way my mind works, it kind of... Oh, y'all. Yeah, make me feel some type of way to the point where I, shit don't really matter that should matter. I don't know, bro. It's, I'm complicated. I don't know. We all complicated things, bro. We all got our, our issues and our, our demons that we fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Demons that we fight. Yeah. We all got shit that, hey, damn, I wish I could change this about myself. Type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it's not really too much that I wish I could change other than the fact <coughs> that I let shit get to me too. That like, shouldn't get to me. Type yeah, of shit. You kind of, yeah, wear your heart on your sleeve type, type shit. shit. And really, I don't really wish that could change because I don't mind it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You just wish your 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 reaction towards type it could be shit. better. Type, yeah, mm -hmm. I got you, I got you. That that could be me in a way. I just I wish I was able to communicate better. I'm trying to work on that. Bro. I, I think that that's that's what I, that might be what I'm trying to say. Because, bro, after a certain point when I get mad, I just can't talk no more. I just be like, man, fuck it, like it is what it is. And I'm just the opposite. The matter I get, the more you gonna hear me, so you can understand where the fuck I'm coming from. You know what I'm saying? They don't even be on no trying the little boy no shit and the little girl no shit. I just be feeling like a nigga not crazy, and you're a human like I'm a human, so you should be able to comprehend 
where I'm coming from, just like you want me to comprehend where you coming from. If we can't agree, then boom, we can't agree. But at the same time, I be feeling like a lot of shit be so one-sided. It just, I don't know. I get to it. Mm -hmm. You know, it just depends on the situation. Once I, once I get that down, once I'm able to like express how I feel to people for real without shutting that, cause I, but if I start to feel some type of way towards you, boy. Instead of going back and forth with you, I just, you know what I'm saying? Give you some space. Type shit. But it shouldn't be that, cause it's, nigga adult, you should, nigga should right. know how to agree you should to be disagree. Able to, it, or not even to agree, you should be able to go to somebody and be able to talk about it. Like, I, I, I agree like about it. But my thing is even being able to go and talk to him about agreeing to disagree. Yeah. I ain't even finna do that. I'm finna just like, man, fuck it. Like, all right, bro. I'm finna go on about my business. Like, I ain't even finna fuck with you. That's my thing. I gotta get better at communicating. 